Hello, we're at the video 10 now, all right. Uh, at the last video, uh, I think uh, the very last one, about one and a half minute, uh, I, my, my laptop has some uh, uh, technical problem. So uh, on the video, you, you didn't see uh, what I just show you on the screen. It's, I think it's a, like a like a frozen screen on the last one and a half minute, right? But don't worry. Uh, so this is what you supposed to see uh, at the end of the uh, last video, right? So notice here, uh, I, I make uh, in order to make the logic uh, window uh, bigger, right? So I uh, you can see here I use the uh, auto high feature for the controller organizer, right? So that's why. Uh, once you turn on the auto hide, you click here and that automatically hide into the place, all right? Uh, also, I will use those interface for this video. So you don't, uh, you didn't miss uh, the uh, demonstration on here, all right? But anyway, I can show you on here. So right now on the HMI, you can see according to the logic, right? When SS is open, uh, the switch is open and the green line is on. Right. Also, according to the letter logic on here, right, the online view. So when I close the switch on here, and that tag value change from zero to one, and then that will change the running uh, status of the letter logic. You can see right now the uh, exam on XIC is it's true, right? So then the red line is on. Same thing, uh, you see that on the HMI. It's just more uh, direct way to uh, show the uh, execution of your program, right? Um, in video 10, all right, we will focus on the topic of changing a controller's mode, right? Mode, you can see here, I use, let me, uh, let's zoom in the key switch on the controller. See on here. So it's a key switch, right? So you plug in the key so you can rotate the switch to diff to three different positions. Let me zoom in more, right? You can see here run REM remote PROG program, right? So that's what I'm talking about, uh, part of what I'm talking about, right? So uh, the obvi the obviously, there are more features. So normally, this is how you change the PLC controller running mode, right? Uh, you have the three different choice on here. And uh, that's physically, right? Then let's look at the, from the software point. So again, uh, let me explain more details on these three different positions. So the key switch can be switched into any positions. If you put that into run position, Right. The program will be executed. The output will be updated. That means turn on and turn off and do the, uh, exactly what you expect from the program point of view. And then also because it's in run mode, right? That prevent online editing. So nobody can change the program when it's running, right? You may wonder, okay, when it's running, can you change it? Yes, you can, right? So we will have another video talk about the online editing, right? So, but if you have the key switch in the run position, you cannot do that, right? You cannot even change the, the mode. Uh, I'll explain that, all right? So that uh, uh, basically in the uh, run position, nothing will change on the current status of the PLC controller. You just want to run the production, right? Normally, like if you want uh, to have your machine start to run production, uh, no more change, nothing, uh, nothing will happen on that. You can uh, put the key switch into run position, then unplug the key, and then nobody can do anything on your PLC controller. Right, so that's basically a like a uh, one sort of 
uh, safety protection on that, right? Second uh, position I want to talk about is a PROG program position. So that will allow the program change uh, with the controller, right? So you can edit, you can change, you can do anything you want with the program, right? That's why it's called program position, right? And in the same time, uh, the program cannot run, you, you, the the mode cannot change, right? So um, not much use with this position. Uh, basically, uh, probably you use this for the, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I never. I. I don't think I used this position any uh, before. Right? Uh, I would assume that you can use this in the uh, uh, commissioning phase or debugging, right? So some sort of that, right? Uh, very often, most of the time, right? The key switch will leave into remote position because when you leave the key switch in this position, you have lots of options because that's uh, de totally decided by the software, right? If you have RSLogic 5000 or Studio 5000, right? So you can change the mode from the software without uh, going to the physical module to flip the switch. And also the other thing is that you can also do the online editing. So that's why this, position give you more flexibility, right? So that's why I want to talk about more on this. So when you have the key switch in this position, right? So your PLC controller is in a remote mode. With remote mode, you have lots of options, right? So from, from the software drop down menu, right? So you can see uh, different options, right? So this is just what you have on here, right? So this is the options on here, All right? So uh, of course you can go offline, right? You can also have choice is upload, download, and also uh, three different modes on here on this, right? And uh, notice here, that's the indication on the key switch. So you may uh, wonder what's the difference, all right? So that's just talk about these uh, terms, all right? You just need to understand the, uh, remember the directions, right? So when you download, you trans, you are transferring the program from the PLC to controller. You just need to remember that this way it's done. And then when you need to transfer the running program from the PLC, controller is PLC, right? To your computer, right? For example, you don't have the, you lost the file, but you, you already have your, program download on the PLC controller, you can get your file back, right? Not everything, but uh, the running logic, you can upload to the computer, right? So this is the first two term, right? And second, uh, we'll talk about there are two different states, right? So one is called offline, right? Offline is the state in which the PLC controller is not in direct communication with the uh, comp with your computer. So, i.e., that means when uh, when the programming in the uh, RS logic five thousand on the computer. So you basically uh, they are separate. Right, so they, 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 they don't talk, they, they have no relation at this stage, at this state, right, when it's offline. PLC, per, uh, PLC controller can run in, uh, a totally different program currently in there, right? But uh, on your computer, you can open up the software RSLogic 5000 or Studio 5000. You can edit, you can program, right? You're offline. You have nothing to do with PLC at this stage. Right? And when you at the online state, that's different from the offline, right? So you are watching and you can potentially changing the active project file in the PLC controller, right? So you can see here, right? So on this picture, right? So what, what I have, what you have with the laptop and the PLC controller has a project file, if you are in online, 
they are in direct communication with each other. So what you see on the laptop is uh, exactly the, the ref reflection on the PLC memory, right? So what are you seeing on, it's like you, you, you're seeing the execution inside of PLC, right? Okay, let me clear that. Okay, so uh, I mentioned that uh, with the remote mode, you have more choice, right? So because uh, you can have the program mode, right? So if you're in program mode, it's just like you flip the switch into program mode, right? You didn't lose that part of the function with the key switch. Also, you can have a task mode. With task mode, right? So if you look at the flow chart and uh, Test mode, right? Test mode is here. So that means uh, you want to execute logic, right? You want to execute logic, but you don't, you don't, you don't want to uh, energize the output device. So then you can choose your test mode. That, that, that's a very nice feature, right? So if you want to, uh, to run, uh, to test your program in there, right? See here. All right, so right now I'm going to uh, do some uh, demo with the uh, uh, program Studio 5000. All right, so first I want you to pay attention at uh, very common mistake. Uh, people will uh, forgot the look at the mode, right? This is this part. Let me change the color. All right. All right, so online toolbar here, yeah, this is a indication on your mode, right? So if you forgot about this, then sometimes you, you will see some strange things, right? You don't know what happening. So for example here, this is what you're supposed to see the, uh, on the HMI and the logic, right? So you can see they are reflecting, right? They are, they are in direct uh, agreement with the uh, HMI and uh, logic. But you see over here, if I change to program mode, remember we talked about, right? We can, with the remote mode, we can change into remote program. So notice here, right? In the, if you pay attention to details, right? So this is the indicator for program mode. Before was green. Right now, it's like a kind of light blue. And before on the running mode, you have a green bar highlight on the rails on the logic. If you didn't pay attention, let me switch back. If you go into run mode, right? So you can see here, highlight on here, right? And then that's green. So pay, if you notice those details, you will see the mode change. So not only that, if you go into program mode, then let's switch on HMI on here. Open, close, switch. You see here, this is what you 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 may find out, uh, puzzle you if you pay, didn't pay attention because you can see this SS change, right? So you may wonder, my SS is reflecting on the HMI with HMI, but why the uh, logic is not running? My red light never turned on. Right? because your logic never being executed. Even this instruction is true. Uh, you don't have the, uh, the, uh, the power to, to, to turn on the output, right? So this is one thing I want you to pay attention on here, right? Program mode doesn't execute your logic and uh, pay attention for those indicators I just mentioned, all right? Uh, the other thing I want to demonstrate to help you to understand what exactly is online, offline, and uh, download and upload. So the key point is you need to understand if the the, uh, the key point is the matching between the online project and the offline file. Right. So if you understand this online project, it's what you see in the PLC. 
and offline is the program file. If they match, you can go online, offline very smoothly without any uh, hiccup, right? Because they are matching, right? But if they don't match each other, right? So when you try to change from offline to online, the software will notice the difference between these two uh, image, right? So there's some difference between the online uh, project file and with your offline programming file, right? So they will ask you, uh, do you want to upload or download? Okay, so that's what I'm going to demonstrate. Hopefully that you can follow this. Uh, let me clear that. So um, let me switch back to the remote. Okay, so you can see here it's running now, right? According to the logic, right? so it's running on here, right? All right, so let me get offline on here. So I will change this to offline. So this is my second reminder on here. So you, your computer doesn't need to be online in order to make your PLC run. This is what I mean, right? So right now you can see your uh, Studio 5000 is not online anymore. It's offline, right? It's separate from the online. But your PLC is still running, right? So you can see here that green line on, close, red line on. There's some delay on here, right? So this is my uh, reminder to you, right? Um, some people say, okay, that's obvious, but some some of the misunderstanding will happen. Okay, I have to get online in order to make PLC to run. No, you don't. PLC itself is a standalone computer. Right? You don't have to uh, make your Studio 5000 get online in order to make PLC to run. As long as you, before you get offline, you set PLC mode to uh, run mode, it will run by itself. You can see here, right? It's just not reflecting on your file anymore, right? So uh, right now we are offline. If I'm, I try to go online, right? Go online, you can see here, I, su I successfully got online without any hiccup. It didn't ask me anything because uh, my file is matching what is running on the PLC controller, on the emulator, right? So let me bring up emulator. So you can see here, right? So that's the emulator. So that means what running on the, this controller is exactly what I see on this offline file. So I can transition from offline to online smoothly, no problem at all, right? I can go back and forth. Yes. Okay. So let me try the offset. Right. right now, so if I make some change on the offline, right? So look at here, if I add one wrong, right? So if I add one wrong, uh, just uh, let's just see, uh, I'll prepare for the next video, right? I'll add a mass instruction on here. So you can see here, uh, I will uh, make a new tag. Uh, my integer, right? my NT, right? So uh, notice it's a double integer tag because I right click on the uh, addition instruction. So uh, software knows, okay, this must be a double integer tag, right? So, and source B, I can just uh, use immediate value, right, one. But destination has to be a tag. Again, uh, this video is not about the programming instructions. I just want to demonstrate the software, right? So I have to create another tag. So for this tag, um, I can just give it add one, right? Just create this on here. So basically whatever on the uh, integer, my integer will add one and send the result to the tag of add one, right? So you can see I 
add something on top of the old file. So now if I try to go online, the software will find, will find the uh, difference between the online and offline. You can see here, right? The operation, the open project has offline change that are not in the controller, right? So that's what the condition is in, right? It, it present to you, okay, there's a conflict, right? With the connected controller, right? The program name match, right? And uh, uh, any other information? Uh, I don't see here. So file is here, right? But anyway, this is enough. This is the, uh, if you don't see that, I can zoom in on here, right? Let me zoom in on the condition part, right? So you can see here, this is the condition, the, the open project has offline changes that are not, not in the controller, right? So basically you, you saw what I did, right? So I add something uh, to the offline file, right? So let me change back to oh, here. Okay, so you can see the software notice the difference, it gave you this warning, then over here at the bottom, right? So gave you a choice. There are two different choices, right? Upload, download, uh, others, right? we don't need to worry about, right? So if you choose upload, then the program will transfer from the PLC into your file. You're gonna lose what you added on here. So the one you just add on here on the addition, that's gonna be gone, right? If you wanna keep the change on here, you have to choose download. Remember the direction, right? You transfer from your offline file to the PLC is download, right? So click download, then just like a regular download, right? So that will change. You can see HMI also reflect on that, right? Because everything changed on the uh, PLC memory, right? So we'll wait for some time, then uh, uh, I can show you the running change on the addition instruction. Also, I'm gonna use this for the next video. Right? So next video, we're gonna talk about uh, the online monitoring for the tag value, right? So that's why I added this uh, addition instruction on purpose, right? Okay, um, I just keep talking uh, for this, uh, waiting for this downloading, all right? And, this is one thing I noticed. I don't know why the downloading per timing uh, getting longer and longer. Before, when I work with the RS Logic 500, it's way faster than this. I guess maybe there are lots overhead with the software and also the safety features on the PLC controller, probably. All right, so. But anyway, it's, it's just my guess, all right. So over here, so you can see uh, it's running now, right? And on the PL HMI, you can still see the old one, right? The old program still running. And then you can see here, uh, a addition is also changed, right? It's running, right? So zero plus one equals one, right? So that's, uh, the end of this demo. I will continue to talk about other features uh, in the next video. Bye bye.